Imagine a symphony where every instrument must play in harmony. This is how the brain directs orgasm. Without the brain's precise signals, the body cannot feel pleasure or trigger release. From desire to climax, the male orgasm begins in the mind long before it is expressed physically. It is a psychological spark that fuels biological reactions, showing us how thought, emotion, and nerve impulses unite in extraordinary the male orgasm begins its journey in the brain, which acts as the central command station. When a man experiences sexual arousal, sensory inputs such as touch, sight, sound, and even imagination activate specific regions of the brain, especially the hypothalamus, amygdala, and prefrontal cortex. These areas process emotional desire, decision-making, and physical stimulation, creating a complex map of pleasure. Neurotransmitters like dopamine and oxytocin surge during arousal, enhancing motivation, bonding, and anticipation. Dopamine fuels reward, while oxytocin deepens intimacy, preparing the brain for orgasmic release. The hypothalamus plays a particularly critical role by sending hormonal and neural signals to the spinal cord, which then directs blood flow to the penis. At the same time, the limbic system, responsible for emotion, ensures that orgasm is not just mechanical, but deeply pleasurable. Interestingly, brain imaging studies reveal that nearly 30 different brain regions light up during orgasm, resembling a fireworks display of neural activity. This highlights that orgasm is not limited to a single brain center, but a widespread network. What makes this process fascinating is the brain's ability to merge psychological arousal with physical responses. Even in the absence of direct physical contact, fantasies alone can stimulate the same brain pathways, triggering erections and preparing the body for climax. The brain also regulates the timing of orgasm by coordinating pelvic muscles and penile sensitivity. Without this orchestration, the sexual response would lack rhythm and release. Ultimately, the male orgasm begins not in the body, but in the mind. The brain ensures that the experience of pleasure is meaningful, emotional, and tied to human bonding. It acts as the conductor of the orchestra, harmonizing desire, nerves, and hormones into one unforgettable performance that connects psychology with biology. Think of the penis as both a sensor and a performer collecting signals, and delivering responses. It is not just an organ of reproduction, but also a highly tuned biological instrument designed for pleasure. Packed with thousands of nerve endings, its sensitivity transforms gentle touch into powerful impulses. During orgasm, it becomes the center stage where blood, nerves, and muscles work together in a breathtaking biological drama that seems almost engineered for climax. The penis is central to the male orgasm, not only as a reproductive organ, but also as a highly sensitive structure designed to capture pleasure. Its head, the gland's penis, is rich with nerve endings, particularly those connected to the dorsal nerve of the penis, which directly communicates with the spinal cord and brain. This sensory connection ensures that even the slightest stimulation can trigger signals powerful enough to build arousal and sustain erection. The process begins with sexual arousal, where the parasympathetic nervous system dilates blood vessels in the penis, allowing blood to rush into the corpora cavernosa and corpus spongiosum. This engorgement creates an erection, transforming the penis into a rigid structure capable of penetration. At this point, sensitivity increases dramatically, and stimulation of the glands or shaft sends accelerated impulses to the brain. These signals contribute to the buildup of sexual tension, which, when fully charged, results in orgasm. During orgasm, the penis does not act alone. Its role is tightly linked with rhythmic contractions of pelvic floor muscles, which assist in ejaculation. The bulbospongiosis muscle contracts and bursts, pushing semen through the urethra and outward in a coordinated manner. Each contraction is accompanied by heightened sensations of pleasure creating the wave-like experience men identify as orgasm. What makes the penis remarkable is its dual purpose, biological reproduction and intense pleasure. From a reproductive perspective, 
Orgasm ensures ejaculation, maximizing the chance of sperm reaching the egg. From a psychological and emotional standpoint, the sensations of penile stimulation reinforce intimacy and bonding. Without this intricate design of nerves, blood vessels, and muscles working in harmony, the male orgasm would lose both its function and its intensity. Thus, the penis is not just a vessel of reproduction, but the epicenter of the male orgasmic experience, where biology and sensation meet in perfect synchronization. Imagine a hidden engine working tirelessly behind the scenes, the pelvic muscles. These muscles are often unnoticed in daily life, yet they play the most dramatic role during orgasm. Their powerful, rhythmic contractions generate the intense physical sensations men feel at climax. Without these muscles firing in perfect sequence, ejaculation would be weak and pleasure far less explosive. They're the secret powerhouses that transform arousal into unforgettable release. While the brain and penis often get the most attention in discussions about orgasm, the pelvic muscles are the true driving force that make the climax so physically intense. Located at the base of the pelvis, these muscles, including the bulbospongiosis, ischiocavernosis, and pubocygius, are responsible for both controlling erections and enabling ejaculation. Their contractions during orgasm are not random. They occur in rapid, rhythmic patterns that push semen through the urethra while simultaneously creating pleasurable pulsations. The bulbospongiosis muscle, in particular, is the star performer. It contracts every 0.8 seconds during orgasm, creating the characteristic throbbing sensations that men describe as waves of pleasure. This muscular action not only ejects semen, but also stimulates nearby sensory nerves, feeding the brain with bursts of intense signals that enhance orgasmic intensity. The ischiocavernosis muscle helps maintain rigidity by restricting blood flow out of the penis, ensuring erection stability until orgasm concludes. Interestingly, pelvic floor strength plays a significant role in orgasm quality. Men with stronger pelvic muscles often report more powerful orgasms and better ejaculatory control. This is why pelvic exercises, such as kegels, are sometimes recommended for enhancing sexual performance. In contrast, weakened pelvic muscles may contribute to premature ejaculation or reduced pleasure, demonstrating just how essential these hidden muscles are. From a biological standpoint, the pelvic muscles act as the body's natural pump system, ensuring that ejaculation is forceful enough to maximize reproductive success. From a pleasure standpoint, their contractions amplify sensations, making orgasm not just a simple release, but an event that combines intensity, rhythm, and satisfaction that I, in essence, the pelvic muscles are the silent partners of the male orgasm, unseen but absolutely critical. They convert nerve signals and arousal into the physical crescendo of climax, turning the experience into a powerful fusion of biology and sensation. Think of the spinal cord as a high-speed highway where every orgasmic message travels. Without it, the brain's commands would never reach the penis, and the penis sensations would never return to the brain. Acting as a bridge, the spinal cord ensures that stimulation, arousal, and release are perfectly synchronized. In the drama of orgasm, it is the hidden director quietly managing signals so the climax feels seamless and explosive. The spinal cord plays an essential role in connecting the brain and body during the male orgasm. It functions as a communication bridge, ensuring that the messages of arousal, pleasure, and muscular control are delivered in milliseconds. Sexual stimulation from the penis is carried by sensory nerves, especially the dorsal nerve of the penis, into the sacral region of the spinal cord. From there, signals ascend toward the brain, where they are processed as arousal and pleasured at the same time. The spinal cord sends descending signals from the brain back to the pelvic muscles and penis, coordinating erection, sensitivity, and ejaculation. This two-way traffic of information is what makes orgasm possible. Without the spinal cord's mediation, the brain could not trigger muscle contractions, nor could the penis communicate sensations of stimulation. 
The spinal cord also contains specific reflex centers that can generate orgasmic responses independently of the brain. For instance, in some cases of spinal cord injury, men may still experience reflexogenic erections or even orgasm through direct genital stimulation, though these experiences are usually altered. This demonstrates that while the brain adds emotional and psychological dimensions, the spinal cord ensures the physical mechanism still functions. During orgasm, the spinal cord coordinates the rhythmic contractions of the pelvic floor muscles, the closure of the bladder neck to prevent urine mixing with semen, and the propulsion of semen through the urethra. This orchestration ensures that ejaculation occurs smoothly and efficiently, supporting both reproductive and pleasurable outcomes. Ultimately, the spinal cord is the silent conductor of the orgasmic symphony. It translates the brain's psychological desire into physical performance and ensures that every nerve, muscle, and vessel participates in harmony. Without its precise management, the male orgasm would lose both its intensity and its coordination. Picture an orchestra where the brain is the conductor, the penis is the soloist, and the pelvic muscles are the percussionists. Each has its own role, but together they create one unforgettable symphony. The orgasm. Without harmony, the performance falls apart. With perfect coordination, however, it becomes a breathtaking climax of biology and sensation, proving that orgasm is not one part alone, but the sum of many working in the male orgasm is not the result of a single organ working in isolation, but rather a masterpiece of integration. The brain, penis, and pelvic muscles operate like a well-tuned system each contributing uniquely to create the final experience. The brain initiates desire, processes arousal, and releases keen neurotransmitters like dopamine and oxytocin that heighten pleasure. The penis then serves as the sensitive receptor and executor, translating stimulation into powerful nerve signals that feed back to the brain. Meanwhile, the pelvic muscles provide the rhythmic contractions that drive ejaculation and magnify sensations. When these three systems unite, orgasm emerges as both a biological necessity and an emotional event. The brain ensures the experience is meaningful, linking it with intimacy, bonding, and psychological satisfaction. The penis ensures the process is highly pleasurable and directly tied to reproduction. The pelvic muscles ensure the release is physically explosive and efficient, propelling semen outward with force. Together, they transform arousal into climax, a transition that is both sudden and profound. Science shows that this integration is extremely delicate, a disruption in one part. For example, nerve damage in the spinal cord, reduced penile sensitivity, or weak pelvic muscles can drastically alter orgasmic experience. This explains why sexual health depends not only on one organ, but on the coordination of the entire system. In healthy function, however, the integration is seamless, producing the waves of pleasure that men recognize as orgasm. Beyond reproduction, this unity also has evolutionary and emotional significance. The pleasurable nature of orgasm motivates sexual behavior, ensuring species survival, while also strengthening human bonds through the release of hormones like oxytocin. Thus, orgasm is not just a moment of pleasure but a biological design that serves reproduction, intimacy, and human connection that I in conclusion. The male orgasm represents one of biology's most beautiful collaborations. The brain, penis, and pelvic muscles together create a climax that is both intensely physical and profoundly psychological, a perfect harmony of body and mind.